Welcome back to How To Do Stuff. Today, we're gonna to try to solve some rough idle on the Chrysler Pacifica. I particularly have a 2018, but this will work on 2017 uh, Pentastar 3.6 liter engine all the way up until present. It's been the same body and all the same uh, uh, engine parts. So, uh, let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on the air intake system. So I've already done a video on how to clean the air filter uh, or, or replace the air filter. But what we're gonna do is go one part further and go in and clean the throttle body and clean the throttle valve within that. We're also gonna clean the air intake temperature sensor. So let's get to it. It only takes a, a few tools. Links are in the description for both cleaners. Uh, in order to get to this, first we need to go ahead and disconnect this hose uh, from the uh, air box. And so what we're gonna do is just push the, the gray button on here and that pops it right off. Um, this comes off with two screws up front and one screw on the hose and that can be done with a flathead drill. Apparently I am not the only one drilling in the neighborhood today. So with all my parts and screws that I take off, I like to put them up, uh, up top so then they're in a safe place so they don't fall down. We can loosen the uh, hose. Okay, so now we can remove our hose. And this has just a couple tabs in the back that click into here. So it's just the two screws up front. All right, as I said, I put in a brand new air filter. I put a, uh, I did a video on it, but I put in a brand new air filter just the other day. Now to see if your throttle body is clean or dirty, uh, I take a flashlight and a phone and it fits just in here. And I can get in there to take a photo to see what I'm working with to see if it needs to be clean. Okay, as you can see, there's some dirt and grime and a dog that's not happy about it over here uh, on the throttle valve. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna clean it out. To take this air box off and to get at the, the throttle body, which is down here, we have to take off the beauty cover and then one bolt here. So there's three bolts, one here, one here, and one in the back. They can all be taken off with a 10 millimeter ratchet. It can also be a T30 hex. Again, we want to put our screws somewhere safe. Again, we want to put our bolts somewhere safe. Okay. Now to get this off, there's a rubber ball valve at the back that you just want to, a little bit of pressure and it pops out. Okay. You can see them here where they would attach. All right, this opens us up to again, 10 millimeter ratchet to where we can remove the air box cover. Okay. Again, the back of this has a ball valve. Crud, I mean joint, ball joint. Before we remove this, we're gonna to wanna to remove the air temperature sensor. And so how we do this is we, we turn it, we give it a little wiggle, we turn it to the left, about a quarter turn, and we pull it out. This is the piece that we're gonna be cleaning. And, down, and to pull this away down below, there's a little anchor, little plastic anchor that you can pull loose down at the base of it. Uh, that can be done with a screwdriver, or as you saw, you can just do it with your hands. Okay, so now that we have the bolt out, we have to pull it up from the back, and then we get the gasket off of the throttle body. Let's take a good look at what we're looking like in there. Right. So beyond our photo, you can go ahead and see we have some varnishing, we have some a little bit of gook, and dust and dirt. Okay, 
So you see, we gotta clear this out. What we're gonna use is throttle body air intake cleaner. And you need a good quality one. I like the CRC throttle body air intake cleaner. I picked it up at Amazon for about 10 or 11 bucks and it's 12 ounces. They also make these in five ounces and we're gonna need a second uh, one to do the sensor and that's gonna be the mass flow sensor cleaner. Again, this is 10, 11 bucks for an 11 ounce can, uh, but we don't need all of that. So you could buy the 5.5 pair to clean one, the throttle valve, and then two, the sensor. All right, so let's start by putting some paper towel down and so then we don't spray this all over the engine and we'll get to cleaning. Paper towels down around here so our throttle body cleaner is only cleaning the throttle valve. Okay, you want to give that uh, just a couple minutes to dissolve all the gook and the dirt. All right. Gonna give that a little wipe. As you see, we are a lot cleaner than when we started out here. And I'm gonna give this thing one more kind of deep clean. And for that, I'm gonna put on some gloves. Knowing that we're working with some chemicals, I'm actually gonna push the throttle body open and spray in. Really, to really get this cleaned up, I'm also gonna take an old toothbrush, or you can take a new toothbrush, but I'm taking an old toothbrush and really kind of cleaning some of the gunk off, okay? Now again, we're not making microchips, we're not uh, over here making food. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but just enough to get the gunk off. And I, to make the, the seal really good, you want to get any dirt off along the edge so then it has a nice clean seal. You can use a shop towel. I'm using paper towels, but also you wanna yeah, give it a give it a good wipe so then anything that the spray doesn't just dissolve off also cleans out. As you can see, you're still getting gook out. But this is looking really clean. Oh, I see a little bit. How's it look to you guys? Looks pretty clean to me. That is looking beautiful. All right, next up we're gonna move to cleaning the air intake temperature sensor. So we're gonna use mass air flow sensor cleaner, uh, which is much like uh, 
any electric, uh, electronic contact cleaner that you can also use. Uh, you know, the Chrysler doesn't use mass airflow sensors uh, anymore because they're a little finicky, uh, and most brands of cars are going to the temperature intake uh, temperature sensor, uh, so they're a little more accurate and not as finicky. All right, next we're gonna next we're gonna disconnect this from the cable. There's a little tab right in the back. You just push down with your thumb, and it pulls right off. All right. We're gonna give this a, a a good cleaning. You can see that there's some uh, dirt and crud on this side. So we're gonna we're just gonna be spraying up around the contacts. Oh, already you can see how much cleaner that is. And we're just doing the top, the yellow and the electronic contacts. Now, you don't want to use the valve body cleaner as it's much more aggressive than this uh, contact cleaner. Uh, and so this mass airflow cleaner or electrical contact cleaner that uh, you use is much more gentle to these uh, electrical pieces. Okay, so we're gonna pop this back onto our cable. Snaps right in place. And we're gonna go ahead and start reassembly. For reassembly, we're going to start with the air box and you want to bring it down and we want to get the, the gasket to go back onto the uh, valve body here. Excellent. All right. Now we want to go ahead and get that rubber ball joint uh, for it to pop back in. There we go. Popped back in. Good deal. Now we're ready to take the bolt. Now, we want to reattach our air intake temperature sensor. So you wanna start, your guide is this little flat piece. And what you wanna do is start with that at about nine or 10 o'clock. You'll feel it in there, it's about 10 o'clock. Give it a little wiggle so the rubber uh, seal seats, and then you turn it a quarter turn to 12 o'clock. So that little tab will be straight up and down. Next up, we're gonna put on the beauty cover. Now, the beauty cover has two, one, to make it look beautiful, but two, do you see all this foam? This is to lower the noise in the vehicle from engine noise. So the first thing we wanna do is line it up with the two uh, rubber ball joints in the back, give it a little press, pops right into place, and now we'll put back in our bolts, which again are 10 millimeter. All right, next up, we're gonna put on the air filter cover. So what we'll start by doing is the tabs that go in the back, we'll line those up. You wanna make sure you have a nice clean air filter. If you don't, I have another video that shows you how you can do it at home in five minutes. And here we go. Now we take the hose and we fit it back onto the air box. All right, sounds good. We're gonna screw these back in. And last but not least, we reattach our hose. Okay, so now we have cleaned the air throttle body. We have cleaned the uh, air intake temperature sensor. We've done everything we can on the engine side. What I would recommend to complete the job is to get a fuel additive and add it to your gas tank. I prefer Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner. This cleans your fuel injectors, carburetors, intake valves, and combustion chambers. There's a link in the description, and every little bit helps keep this channel creating content. Uh, start your car back up. When you start it up, it's gonna be rough for uh, just a few minutes because that valve cleaner is different than gasoline. So it's gonna take a second to get into the system, and as gasoline will pull that through, It'll, it should stop. This should take away your roughness of idling and make your car run a lot smoother. Oftentimes, you actually pick up a, a couple miles per gallon fuel efficiency. Let me know in the comments how this works for you and if you gained any miles per gallon efficiency and to brought down any roughness of your idle. And at the same point, like and subscribe while you're here. And until next time, I'll be here figuring out how to do stuff.